Good morning, everyone. This is Jackie, Jack's Creative Inspirations here on YouTube and on Facebook. And on Instagram, I go by the handle at Scrap and Jacks. Welcome to my channel about cross stitching. And I have a very special guest with me today. This is my stitchy bestie, one of them, Taylor. Taylor and I are coming at you from Augusta, Maine, where we have just finished up the Library Stitchers Retreat. It is just after midnight on Sunday, April 21st, 2024. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Um, <laughs> it's, well, we're from the West Coast, so we're actually three hours behind, so. It's, Our bodies are saying it's nine o'clock at yeah, night. Yeah, <laughs> so we're wide awake. Um, and we have a flight to catch tomorrow, tonight, tonight now. To, yeah, tonight. tonight. Um, and then we're meeting a friend of mine um, in Boston before before uh, we take off. Before we take off. So, um, rest up our arms before we fly. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys can't see, but I'm a wheelchair user, so resting up our arms. That's okay. that's a very true <laughs> statement for me right now. Um, um, Taylor, would you like to tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Oh goodness. Uh, <laughs> how about you start and I'll fill in the gaps. Okay. Taylor and I met because of StitchCon last year. I was at Weekend A and Taylor was in Weekend B. And shortly after all the StitchCons were over, um, Taylor posted on the StitchCon Facebook group, is there anyone from Renton, Washington who was in Weekend B? And I jumped in and said, hey, I'm from Edmonds and I was in Weekend A. So we became fast friends. Skip ahead to February, March this year. I would say right after Nugget's birthday, so yeah, February. February, okay. So we kept up on Facebook, we messaged on Facebook, all the fun things. And February this year, Taylor says, I need your help. I'm doing a, uh, I want to do some counting pins, and I want to do a, a small gift for the Smalls Exchange for the Library Stitchers Retreat. Sure, Hold no on, problem. back up just a second. We hadn't even met in person. Yeah, we hadn't and met. We, and we had decided we were going to travel across the country in a five-hour flight. Not once, but twice this year. Mm -hmm. Without meeting each other face-to-face. -face. Uh, something Jackie uh, failed to mention is she's a nurse. So when she said, I'm a nurse, and I said, I'm in a wheelchair, I thought, I'm in safe hands. This is probably going to be a good match. Yeah, yeah, it's, it is. So we are at Taylor's apartment. I took over pretty much my entire bead collection, jewelry findings, um, a couple of pounds of bank pins, stainless steel pins. Um, and um, Taylor had watched uh, tutorials from Helen D. And I had, wa I had watched and attended Beth Twist's um, counting pin class at the Jingle Ball last December. So between the two of us, we sat down and we created counting pins. Then a few weeks later, I came back and I helped uh, Taylor create some Oort jars. Now these counting pins we received this weekend. So these are not the counting pins that she made. Those went with the other Oort jars. And they were specific to the recipients that received them. So there were specific organizers uh, within Library Stitchers that I'm friends with that I hadn't had the opportunity to gift them anything. So I made them one specific to their likes and their favorite colors. Um, so the colors corresponded. And then I did the same thing for the Smalls Exchange, but I did it a little bit more basic and a little bit more um, broad and things that I liked, but that were stitching related. Mm -hmm. um, and then I put the counting pins inside the one for the Smalls Exchange. And mm -hmm. then for the ones that I gifted, they had some other things inside of them, so they were actually stuck inside the... Uh... Yeah, they were actually in the pin cushion. So Taylor did a lot of this work. She did, she was the brainchild. This was her design. This was her whole thing. She did the stitching. So it says or, orts. Okay. I did get the tutorial idea from a video, I believe from Fat Quarter Shop or maybe Missouri Star Quilt Shop. It could be, yeah. Because I searched like button jar pin cushion tutorial. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of combined a couple tutorials. Mm -hmm. So this is just your basic eight ounce jelly jar with the lid. And so she put the pin cushion in the lid. She stitched up the orts on, the, on Ada. 
And then I came over, I had some fabric. Uh, I've got a, I've got a crap ton of fat quarters. So came over with the fabric and Taylor went through, she had her own fabric. We cut out the strips for the bands. We cut out the orts from the, from the Ada um, and uh, stitched the bands. And Taylor asked that the bands be, you know, front and back the same fabric so that you look in the jar, you can see the fabric, not the back of the fabric. She um, also wanted a, a loop and a button on the back to close everything up. And so I sat and had, uh, helped her stitch um, the bands and then the, she attached the orts to the bands. I did the hand stitching on the back here to close off the seams, stitched in the loop of Baker's twine and the buttons. And that is what we have. And then the night before the retreat, we pull them all out of our suitcases and we notice that the bands are falling yeah. off the jars. They kept falling off the jars. So <clears throat> being a scrapbooker and a card maker, I went, hey, we need some super sticky double-sided dots. <laughs> so we went running to El Target and we got a fabric strips of fabric adhesive. And this was super sticky, like glue boogers. It, it, it says on the back of the package, do not touch if possible. There's a reason why. Yeah, anyway. Um, so um, I we put the, the the tape onto the jar and then we put the, I put the fabric onto the jar over the tape and everything is now standing upright where it's supposed to be. So this was Taylor Small. And give well, her, not that specific one. Not that this was that one was specifically yours. Ain't mine because that's paw prints, and you all know how I am with my pip. Um, and then she gave one to Kathy, um, who and one to Missy, who are two needles pulling thread. Please check out their floss tube if you haven't already. They are hilarious. <sighs> They're the best. And um, she got she gave one to each of those ladies, and then the small, and then this one. So there were four of them. And one of the uh, ladies that was one of the nine library stitchers that actually uh, ran the retreat, because there are nine people mm -hmm. um, that make up the library stitchers, most of them not floss tubers, um, actually received my small. And she's like, this is perfect. Because mm -hmm. you always have like sewing pins or loose threads, mm -hmm. especially if you're like EPPing and you're, mm -hmm. and you're trimming your threads yeah. and things like that. Yeah. Um, and I'm someone who's not an orc collector. Um, I clip it and toss it immediately in the trash container. So mine is pulling double duty this weekend. And I have in there my charger and cable for my AirPods. So, um, so that was Taylor's gift. So Thursday, okay, so for Wednesday night, we take off from SeaTac at 9.45. Yeah, our flight was delayed probably by about, I would say, half an hour. Half an hour. Half an hour. So about 9.45, 10 o'clock, we took off and we flew overnight to Boston and we landed at Boston Logan around 6 a.m. Thursday morning. Um, we get through... Um, we get off the plane, we use the little girl's room, we get down to baggage claim. My bag is at the Alaska office. I pick up my bag. We go looking for, where do we go for our rental car? We get there, get the rental, and we... Shout out to Mo. Uh, oh, yes. Mo at Alamo State, the Alamo pickup uh -huh. location he, he was, was fab the bomb. he was the bomb there was a big old blob of bird poo on the windshield and he's trying to wash it off and he he hit the windshield. <laughs> this is so funny <laughs> he hit the windshield washers and the washer fluid goes shoom, over the top of the car and right onto me as i'm trying to load stuff into the car i'm like hey <laughs> So then he lifted the car and he left and he comes back and he had a single blade, razor blade and he scraped the poo <laughs> off the windshield and then cleaned the windshield with window cleaner. He loaded our bags bomb, for loaded us. Loaded our bags, loaded her chair. Offered us water. Yes, offered us waters. So, yes. Taught um, us how to use the car. Because... Um, <laughs> 
My family car is a 98 uh, Subaru, Subaru sedan. <laughs> Love that thing. And my car is a 2012 Ford Expedition. And this car uses a push button to start. And it has a dial that you turn to shift your gears. And everything is touchscreen. <laughs> Massive touchscreen. Anyway, so yes, we were learning uh, learning this car and trying to navigate our way out of Boston and on the highway. We finally got on the highway and we headed north. And we drove from Boston up to Bangor, Maine to the Crafty Grimalkin. Now the crap. Hold on, we had to get our Duncan fix. Oh my God, yes, we had to have our Duncan fix. Um, in Seattle, we do not have a Duncan Donuts. There are... Starbucks literally on every corner because for you those can't of you sling that, a dead cat without hitting a Starbucks. <laughs> she's not kidding. Mm. Um, because That's Starbucks where, started in started. Seattle. So we had to have our Duncan and um, we both grew up in the Midwest. We both grew up with Duncan. My favorite donuts are the vanilla and chocolate cream filled Duncan donuts. They're my favorite. I can't help it. That's just the way I am. So I can't find chocolate cream filled donuts now to save my soul. And they tell me that they're not, they don't make them anymore. And my childhood has just been destroyed. So I believe you that they existed. I know. If, if I that know. validates I know. your feelings. Thank you. Thank you so much. So what ended up happening was um, we had to stop and get our Duncan fix. And then we kept driving and we got up to Bangor and we went to the Crafty Grimalkin. Now the Crafty Grimalkin used to be an online store and she still has her online store but she also now has a brick and mortar in bangor maine and she's one of the few or the only lns in, in i maine. think there's one i think other? she may be the only one in maine but there's another one within a few hours mm -hmm. um that's not in maine mm -hmm. but the thing that boggles my mind so i'm from the midwest my husband's from texas we essentially drove through three states within 30 minutes. I could not wrap my head around that at all. <laughs> well, the thing of it is, though, you have to realize that one of the states we drove through was New Hampshire, and we really literally were in the extreme southeast corner of the state, just like, you know, between, you know, within 30 minutes, we were through the state of New Hampshire and into Maine. Um, so we got to the Grimalkin and we did some shopping. Surprise! Um, I will let you, I will let you show uh, your okay. uh, Grimalkin stash enhancements first. The first, the first round of Grimalkin acquisitions. Um, so you're going to learn that I have an orange cat. His name is Cheese. Uh, my husband jokingly said to me one day, so is my house going to be covered in stitched projects and not only stitched projects stitch projects of orange cats and i looked at him and i said uh-huh you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> so she got this absolutely adorable bent creek uh flare and it's called smile and he's so cute and then um the other one i love squirrels <laughs> so i got a mill hill buttons and beads kit and then I would never stitched with Binky Dye's floss. And you want to tell them the embarrassing thing that I did while we were there? She petted all of the silk floss. She just sat there and just kept petting all the silk floss. And then she looked at Reese, who owns the Crafty Grimalkin. And she says, when you have downtime, do you pet the floss? And Reese says, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't know if that's true or not. However, you know, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. <laughs> because I do find myself petting my Bee Stitch Me silks a lot. Okay. What else did we get um, from the Grimalkin? What else did you get? That's all I got okay. from Thursday. From Thursday. Okay, well then let me show. Uh, you want to set that over there? Yeah, I'll set that over there. We're kind of crammed in behind the desk here so we can show you everything. So my purchases. So from, I might come and go and do like Vanna White maneuvers that's okay. to and move things over. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, here's my crafty Grimalkin. From Thursday? From the store. From the store. <clears throat> okay, we'll set that there, we'll set that there, and try not to spill everything. Okay, um, I got I cross stitch because stabbing people is frowned upon. Oh, that's fuzzy. Sorry, folks. 
Yeah. If, fo if it focuses on your face, then... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And then I also thought I had... Yes. Yes. I like cross-stitch coffee and maybe three people. Oh, yep. It's when you focus on your face. There we go. There sorry, we go. doll. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> also in our with our with our Duncan fix, I got myself a magnet, lobster. Of course, we're yeah. yeah. Okay, cover your cover your face. <laughs> <laughs> hide your face in shame. <laughs> no, no, don't hide your face in shame. I don't know. Anyway, so yes, we got I got a lobster magnet. I'm gonna turn him into a needle minder, and then um, I got. Um, oh no, this was, this was, um, that's trunk show. Where's my cute little piece of atomic ranch? Oh man, I can't. Okay. Uh, there is, a, here it is. I just I found it. I was going to say, is it in your big stitchy case thing? Uh, not yet. Here. Not yet. Okay. It's right here. Um, oh, I got this at the Crafty Grimalkin. This um, hilarious. I know, right? And those. And yeah. these. Here we go. Here's everything I got. Okay. So, the first time we we did our shopping with Crafty Grimalkin, I got this little remnant piece of ocean sand from Atomic Ranch. It's a eighth. It's a 14 count Ada. And oh my gosh. I love ocean sand. It's one of my favorites. It's a minty green, bluey green. It That's... gets really washed out in the light. Yeah. This is one of the big things. Let me see if I can bring it back here and get some. That's a little better. That's a little better. Yeah, absolutely. It's a little bit more turquoisey than it's. Yeah. It's reading a little bit more blue there, but there is some green. There is quite a bit of green in there's it. There is some green. Okay. So that, I got that. I got some stickers. I got to have my stickers. There's cross stitch. And the black cats, hashtag black cats rock, hashtag black cats rule. And floral needlework. Again, the light. Um, no, I think we're okay. It's just the, the, the light reflecting off of the camera or the phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes it hard to see on the plastic. I also got the chart Merman Cove from Dirty Annie's. Do you? Oh my God! The beer gut, the hairy armpits, the hairy armpits. I mean, that's just too funny. So I'll have to kit that up. And I think that was it. Yeah, I think so. For Thursday. So then we get back to Augusta. And we um, were able to check into our hotel, unloaded everything in the room, and then we went back out. Um, this hotel has an IHOP attached to it. So we're like, ooh, IHOP, okay. Um, met up a fellow stitcher in the breakfast area. We went over to the IHOP, we had dinner, and then we took off to go find a Target to find some sticky dots and a couple of little things. And then we came back here, fixed the ore jars, and passed out. She'd been up about mm, 30 hours by this point in time, so. And that's not good on, I was, I was not making sense when I was talking no. at all. Um, when we were at the airport about 45 minutes before we started, before we were supposed to start boarding the plane, I took my medicine that makes me sleep at night, be, and I did this on purpose so that the second I got in my seat and got the seat belt fastened, I was, <laughs> out cold. Um, so I did get some sleep. Um, so we got our sleep Thursday night and Friday morning we get up and we went to the venue for the retreat. It was perfect. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, absolutely perfect. Um, it was a, it's a club building here in Augusta um, they have a lot of functions there and they actually fed us lunch and dinner, both Friday and Saturday. Um, and we went in and we got our, they, they let us come in cause, um, Taylor's in her wheelchair. And it's a little harder for her to get around. So 
they were able to let us come in first and there were a couple other ladies they had let come in early as well who also were had walkers. some mobility um, needs uh -huh. specific to their situations uh -huh. so we were all kind of I would say closer yes. to, um, there's a back bathroom that's more accessible than the one that was in mm -hmm. the lobby. Mm -hmm. So um, those of us that had mobility challenges primarily used that one. Yeah. And also, um, it wasn't that we were shoved in the corner. We really weren't because they mm -hmm. had trunk shows and the trunk shows went um, one, you know, two walls so we were in front of the trunk shows. So there was people coming by, but not crowds of people coming by. Mm -hmm. And so we were able to sit there and not have to worry about, oh, you got to scooch. Oh, you got to scooch. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to get through here. There was lots of room to move between the tables. And I would say the nice thing about being where we were because of where the trunk shows were, because they wrapped all the way around the outside of the room. Mm -hmm. And they had them far enough away from the walls that they actually had two lines. You could walk, yeah, you could walk on either side of the and tables. And my wheelchair could get, um, there was another person, could get on both sides. Mm -hmm. There was another person that used a walker. There an, were Yeah, an upright walker. An upright walker. Mm -hmm. There was another, a couple other ladies um, with canes. canes. Mm -hmm. um, so we were all able to easily pass one another. But mm -hmm. the thing that I liked about being so close to the trunk shows was people had to pass us. Yes. So I didn't get FOMO about, no. I need to find this person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody found we me. We were very included. in even though we were off in the corner with the situation, the seating and everything, we were included. So we came in the door and they handed us a goodie bag. It's a moose. It's a moose. And an outline of the state of Maine. And it had the Library Stitchers logo on it. And one of the ladies, I believe, actually... They made this. They made these. Yeah, with a Cricut and vinyl. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to let... Well, okay. So, inside, we had charts. And then you're going to show the rest of the goodies? Yeah. Okay. Helen D. was one of the uh, participants at the retreat. How many floss tubers were there up there? Oh, Holy cats. Towards the end of the retreat, around after we'd eaten dinner and we'd done, we'd done all the raffles and all that stuff, they said, oh, we need to take a picture of all the floss tubers. So I would say there were at least 20. At least? At least 20. So Helen D. was one of them. And Helen created a chart for us. And somebody actually stitched this. A couple people actually stitched. And they had, rang the bell. They had a retreat start and finish. Yeah, and rang the bell. This was from Drooling Moose Designs. No, wait a minute. Yeah, we got this one. This we got. Yeah, we got this one on Friday as well. Drooling Moose Designs. And we all know how Kathy doesn't, because um, the chart doesn't have the borders. Right. So, um, we had to, we, we went to, and she was one of our vendors. So we had three vendors. Mm -hmm. We had drooling moose. We had new England stitcher and we had the crafty Grimalkin. And it wasn't just Reese. There was also Mr. Grimalkin. Mr. Grimalkin was there too. Yeah. He was awesome. And then the trunk shows had fabric. There was fabric from barefoot needle arts. There were charts there from stitches by Ethel. Um, proper stitcher, finally a farm girl, stitcher. camping stitcher, hands on design, hands on design, Emily Call, mm -hmm. and um, who are we forgetting? There were like eleven trunk shows. Mm -hmm. So we could purchase charts. Barefoot Needle Art had fabric. Um, Grace Notes sent fabric. Um, those were the only two, other than other than Reese, other than what Reese had. Yeah, um, yeah. And the fun, the nice thing with Reese was she really sold a lot of fabric that first day on Friday. And this morning when we came back in, he, Mr. Grimalkin and probably Reese had gone back over to the store, got more fabric and brought it back. And there was a ton more fabric there. So that was really, really awesome. I, I really loved that part. 
Um, and then these two were from this morning when we walked through the door. And there was a couple other things that we got this morning that I'll show you when I show uh -huh. you all the other little goodies. Uh -huh. So these were, I'm going to show you the charts and Taylor's going to show you all the goody goodies. Um, this morning when we came in, now this is the chart, so I'm going to hold it back. Okay. This is from finally a farm girl and it's books and it's a raccoon. And I believe there is, there is a, a mouse. There is a mouse. There is a mouse on there. He's small. He's so, tiny. So Missy doesn't have to stitch in Matilda Mouse. Right. And she can leave the mouse off. Mm -hmm. And then this is Elizabeth and Fitzwilliam from the Stitching Wren. To fit with the... Um, the the, library, the theme. library theme. And we will put all this information down in the drop box so that you can go look these ladies up look up these sites and uh, do some shopping. Okay, you got the goodies. I, I've got the other goodies. Um, so this little guy, mine is empty, it's a long story. <laughs> I forgot that magnets attract metal. Um, I had, this is a little needle case and it's got three different channels. And then it's got hooks up here at the top. And it's got little oh. hooks and up at the top so like your needles like won't fall out, but apparently magnets pull them out of the little holes. I think that's also probably where if you have a needle that's threaded. I don't know for sure. I truly yeah. don't know for sure. Yeah, I don't know for sure. But yeah, mm -hmm. I would think that would work as well. Yeah. So that's one. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got lobster claw. Lobster claw. Which is an orange. Lobster like an claw. orange, yellow, red, <laughs> variegated. All of us got lobster claw. All of us got lobster claw. Um, we got... A vinyl, do we have a piece of paper? Uh, yeah, hang tight here. Okay. Um, we have the Library Stitchers logo on a, um, vinyl sticker. So there's that one. Then we had, we each got, um, little chapstick. Sleeves. Sleeves. Um, and yours is... The state of Maine. Yours is the state of Maine. Mine is Mallard's. And while you're pulling yours out, I will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, go right anything. ahead. Um, we got a lobster. Is he a charm? Yes. Mallard's. And then we got a lobster charm. You want me to? Pull it yeah, up. Oh, pull okay. it up there closer. Sure. Because I'm a little bit further away. Yeah. Because you're... You don't need T-Rex arms like Shelly does. <laughs> no. Shelly and Justine, Sips and Whips, um, Welcome Stitchery, they were there too. Oh my God, they're so funny in person. <coughs> and then we got one needle minder. That is the state of Maine. Um, this may have come from... I think this came from New England Stitcher, right? Because she has the, the, the Glowforge. Maybe. Okay. 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 And then, and then, okay, here you go. This one, this is a bookmark. Bookmark. And the little term says, I love cross-stitch. Oh, yours says, I love cross-stitch? Hmm. What does yours say? Mine... has a spool of floss. Or a, a bobbin, a, a bobbin of floss. Mine is a bobbin. Okay. And then this morning, um, as we walked in, Emma um, han hands me the two other charts <laughs> and this little uh, gauze bag. Well, she handed me both mine and Jackie's. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the there's little... a scissors and there's a bobbin and then this little guy here which is a pine tree and then remember that first chart that jackie showed you that was the lighthouse with the words well we also got enough fabric if we want to to finish it into a pillow and they were all different so i got puffins and i got sailboats So that's what we got. We also had a bingo card in our in our uh, goodie bags. 
And honestly, I think we really loved this game the most. It was these, and the attention to the detail that the library stitchers put in to putting off, pulling off this retreat, 150 people, all of these bingo cards were individual. No two were alike. And they're all, it was called floss toss and they were all colors of flosses. Yeah. Fancy flosses. And we had to back and we had to do a blackout. And I was that close. Well, the thing I really liked about it is some of the colors I'd never heard of. Exactly. So I was able to be like, who makes that? What oh. is even that color? Exactly. This was also in all of our goodie bags. All of our goodie bags. So last week, <laughs> I showed you that I had gotten a teal green mini stand from Christy, um, Java Girl Stitches. So this week, <laughs> I walked into the library stitchers. In our goodie bag, all of us had a mini stand. My large regular size stand is red. I got a red one. However, there was a lady at our table that wanted a red one, so she traded me her purple one, her lilac one, for the red one. And I have the set. I got the same color, so we thought that you didn't need to see the same thing in the same color twice. Twice. Okay. So we get our goodie bags, and then we. Oh wait. Wait a minute. Is this your magnet or mine? I have mine, I think. Okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. Sorry. And besides, we don't live that far from each other, so. This is true. Okay, so um, we started looking at the trunk shows. Do you want to show what you got at the trunk shows, or do you want me to start? Oh, uh, I actually, before the trunk shows, let's back up a little bit, because mm -hmm. Reese was gracious enough to allow us, since she was a vendor, to place pre-orders with her that she would prepare for us and then we could pick them up at the retreat. Um, so I had only bought a couple of projects with me and I had intentionally, one of those was going to be a new start. Um, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna wanna work on that and I'd never stitched a mill hill. So I picked up this little guy and then I also picked up um, some DMCs that I didn't have in stash for a project that I'm model stitching for a friend of mine um, that I needed um, fabric for, or floss, and then I found fabric for. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got from Reese when we got there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, uh, let me show what I got at the trunk show. Um, we had the vendors and they were selling immediately the second the doors opened. The trunk shows opened at 10. Um, I got, I'm, I am doing May's Emerald Fairy, which is a Mirabilia. May for me is going to be a Manning Mira month. Manning Mira May. <laughs> Manning Mira May. And I decided I want to put um, May's Emerald Fairy on a piece of a light green, like a winter mint from Atomic Ranch. Um, however, my piece of winter green Atomic Ranch 16 count is now being used for Tom's Foolery. So I was looking for something. So I got this green from Barefoot Needle Art and it is called Sea Mist. And I'm not sure that this is gonna work. First off, it's not big enough. It really is not big enough. This, I think was a fat eight. It's supposed to be 17 by 21, which I don't, know, I don't think, think it's so. going to fit. It's not going to fit. So, and I'm not too crazy about I After I, dummy me, I bought it, then picked it up and held it up and went, oh, there's a lot of modeling in here. So I will find something to use this on. So that I purchased the trunk show. I then purchased from Emily Call, Patriotic Flowers 1 and 2. I got from Finally a Farm Girl, Matilda's Stitchy Spot. I got from the Camping Stitcher, The Stitcher's Prayer. Says, 
Now I sit down in my chair, my needle floss and fabric there. I stitch and calm my busy mind whenever I can find the time. And that's exactly how we all feel about cross stitch. It's just, this is what calms us and gets us through the day. I also got from Camping Stitcher, Stash Stitcher. It's stash when it's added to cart. It is stash once I add to cart. Can confirm. Yep, can confirm. I also picked up from the trunk show, the library stitchers had, had made some tumblers, sublimated some tumbler, tumblers. So these are Cinderella's mice as they're sewing. Okay, and then I went back to the trunk show and I picked up OG Stitchery had a trunk show and it was bags. And I picked up this bag from OG Stitchery. Okay, and this is the back and it's just plain white fabric on the inside. And she actually had Three different sizes of bags. Three different sizes of bags, and the large ones sold out. And then she had even like little bobbin holder. Mm hmm. Bobbin, thing. bobbin, bobbin beds. I think they called them. I don't remember or for bobbin sure. Bobbin buddies. I don't know. What Something. She calls yeah. Them. But they were they were just flat with a vinyl front and pockets to put your bobbins in. And I use those occasionally. Mm hmm. For smaller projects. Mm hmm. And um, let's see. Put that with my goodie bag. Um, so then you want to show it, you didn't get much at trunk show, right? You did mostly the vendors, right? Trunk show. I only got two charts okay. because I have rules. Um, <laughs> I have rules, self-imposed rules and I have a husband I have to answer to. Um, <laughs> jokingly, he really, he really doesn't care and we are he is so supportive of her. So, um, so for the most part I did, uh, but I did find... Um, Do you want me to help you with that? Sure. These two, these two charts, right? Yeah, those two charts, and then I want to make sure these are. Yep, that's yeah, a trunk. These, these are all barefoot. That's all trunk, yeah. So this is a potential for the um, boomerangs. No, no. Oh, this is not. Okay. This is for the stitch that I'm doing for a friend of mine, um, but she was not available when I tried to call her. So I just bought it and if it doesn't work, I can order something else Yeah, and it'll be fine. Yep. Um, and then these two, I picked both of these up. These are the exact same cut, the exact same count. These are bare, both barefoot needle art sandy toes. They're both half yards and they're both 18 count Ada, but they died differently. They died completely differently. This is what's fun and frustrating about hand dyed fabrics is the results may vary. <laughs> results may not be the same. So I picked both of those up because I love stitching on browns. My go-to fabric is oh, Molly. <laughs> Aside, hand dyed is Grace Notes Molly. However, <laughs> if I don't have hand dyed Grace Notes Molly, she goes with and stash. Nine times out of ten, I go with 18 count oatmeal. Yeah. So 90% of the stuff I stitch is yeah. on 18 count oatmeal. Mm -hmm. It's easy for me to get. I get it on Amazon in two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's inexpensive. Yeah. So. And then she got these two charts. And then I got these two charts. Again, with the orange cat. You might want to kind of do yeah. that so that they see it straight. Yeah. Um, so it's... Uh, an orange cat in a Santa suit, and cats don't like to wear clothes, so I thought this was the closest. Santa Claus, C-L-A-W's. C-L-A-W. Mm -hmm. And Matilda is there, too, Matilda's right? in there, yep. So. Finally a farm girl. And then, again, cats. J-B-W, kitties in the round. J-B-W had a trunk show there. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. There yeah. were so many There were things. so many trunk shows. Okay, so that was your trunk shows? That was my trunk shows. Okay, oh, here. Here you are. There's your barefoots. Oh, here's my barefoots. Okay. Okay, so then um, came the shopping with the vendors. 
I picked up this absolutely cute needle minder from, um, there we go, cute needle minder from Drooling Moose. She had so many cute ones. Oh my gosh. And then she also had, this was the most clever display I've ever seen. Her stores on Etsy, very few of her patterns or any, she has embroidery kits as well as PDF patterns. And every single one of her PDF patterns, she had printed out on nice cardstock. The, and, the cover page. Mm -hmm, and in a book. And every one of them had a QR code. All you had to do was snap the QR code and it took you straight to her Etsy site. And you could place your orders right there. The thing I love um, is I'm going to contact her to see if she will do custom charts. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to contact her um, and have her chart most likely a black work for me that's a conglomeration of multiple photos. Mm -hmm. And then... Um... Uh, next to her was the new New England Stitcher. <laughs> Sorry. Stephanie, right? Yes. Stephanie is a STEM teacher. She does science, technology, um, engineering, mathematics, and her kids have access to a Glowforge. So she does a lot of work with um, laser cut as items. As well as a 3D printer. I as believe. well as a 3D printer? Okay. Um, now, one of my, hmm, one of the things I wanted to do up here, and which I know I would probably not get to do, is see a moose. Um, we do have a very rare moose in Washington State. Mostly it's elk and deer. Um, I would have loved to have seen a moose. It's okay. I'm not going to get to. And the elk are also, like, they're hard to rare. find. They're hard to find. Yeah. So I did find from um, Stephanie, and I don't have it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I was going to say, if you can't it's find there. yours, I have mine. It's there. <laughs> Moose Crossing. There we go. Moose Crossing. So I got that uh, needle minder from her. Um, and then um, <laughs> then I went over to the Cracky Grimalkin. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did some damage. My God. <laughs> First off, I got the chart from Works by ABC 324. Why 324? Because this chart has got 324 colors in it. Um, Arlene Cohen, um, Works by ABC, um, found the original is a piece of lace work, an antique piece of lace work. So she sat down and started taking out some of these motifs and actually plotted it out. This chart here, if you don't want to do all 324 colors, only has 36 colors. <laughs> but this is the chart. And I need to read it through. You said there's two rows, basically? So it's two rows. So what Arlene did is she only charted two rows. And then there's 18 rows of 18 motifs, like not motifs, but they're like little boxes. Yeah. And in each one of those boxes, it tells you what color you're supposed to use. That information will come in handy in a second. Yes. When I get to my vendor <laughs> Are we going to go by days? Yeah, I was okay. going by days. Okay, that's why I have mine organized too. I then, Atomic Ranch Fabrics is one of my favorite fabrics, okay? Atomic Ranch Fox and Rabbit Fabrics by Stephanie. <sighs> Dreamsicle. This is a half yard of 18 count Ada in the colorway Dreamsicle. I'm thinking of a lot of Halloween projects that could a go A lot on of this. Halloween or I have a pro like, if I had that, uh -huh. the small, the finish I had uh -huh. probably would have went on that. Yeah, 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 true that. I would have had to maybe change one color. Mm -hmm. But otherwise. But otherwise. And then Atomic Ranch, eight, no, 16 count. This is a 16 count Joylin Fat Half. Da -da -da -da. I'm getting out of the way so you guys can see it. <laughs> 
I Again, promise she, just, she's... there's just so much you could do on this piece. Yeah. And we're going to figure it out. And we're going to split. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do on that. We're going to, we're going to split them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was my purchases on Friday. So my purchases on Friday. So I always have a backpack on me. Mm -hmm. So I always have a project on the go because I have a lot of appointments pretty consistently about every two weeks mm -hmm. to Seattle and I live 30 minutes from Seattle. And when you drive, when your appointment's at 930, you leave the house at eight, but it takes you an hour because you hit rush hour. Yeah. So I got this little guy. This is a, this is a Stephanie, the New England Stitcher whip -a keeper whip -a keeper um so in here i actually have two projects one is for the smalls exchange for the next retreat we're going to and then another one is a small that i'm doing just for fun so we have a vinyl front pocket here in the back is another pocket in the back over here is another pocket this is your fleece or flannel or whatever um uh lining for a thread bed, and there's a piece of thread there, you have a place to play, the big place to pin your needles or um, what have you, and then you have your lobster claw clasp to hold your floss rings or your scissors. And something I will point out, I'm not going to show you guys the chart because it is for, or the not the chart, but the stitching that is in here. Behind this, I believe, is this is the nerd size one. Uh -huh. The two might fit, but I'm skeptical. Right. So I, I know the one will indeed fit. This is phenomenal for your smalls that you want to take on the go, like like Taylor does. Um, you know, your car stitching, your you know, appointment stitching, your watch your kids in sports stitching. These these whipper keepers are perfect for that. Okay? So that's the small one and what I plan to do and actually we stitched in mm -hmm. the hotel tonight, and mm -hmm. this is what I brought with me, mm -hmm. along with my little um, Notions pouch. Mm -hmm. um, and I was perfectly content and happy and didn't need anything else. Yeah. So there's that one. Um, I read a ton. <laughs> if I'm not chatting with Jackie and I'm stitching, I'm either watching Floss Tube or listening to an audiobook. So this one is books. This is her large size. This is a large whip -a keeper um oh oh my gosh and i got i got these hold on we'll, we'll go to those in a second um this so yeah this one i'm gonna hold up here yeah. and then you've got your large vinyl front pocket so this is the floss for our a forbidden fiber co cell it's the gilmoreism cell um leanne i don't know if she still has kits I pre-ordered mine months ago, mm -hmm. started in January. We got the kit, I believe in November to stitch mm -hmm. the frames. Mm -hmm. um, and in here is a nerd size two. So yeah, you're definitely, your, your two will fit in here. I believe your three, cause I can push it over further. So a three might fit. Mm -hmm. We haven't tested it though. Right. You also have your thread bed up here, your needles. You have your lobster claw. And she always includes a floss drop. Oh no, no, it's a it's a project tag. So it's a when project you, tag. So oh. when you have these on your shelf, oh. you have these hanging out. Well now, isn't that clever? You have it hanging out like that. And then um or like this. This is the so there's not a second pocket. Um so there's not like a pocket behind here. Like this is your pocket, but there's one here. Yeah. So you've got this little half pocket and then your thread bed. And then you've got... Um, half pocket, thread bed. And then there's a pocket over here. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm a PDF stitcher, so yeah. primarily. Yeah. So I don't typically use paper patterns. And then the, um, the um, tags that she created um, have her logo and it's the, New Ham it's the state of New Hampshire and it says New England stitcher. Okay. Is it New Hampshire or Rhode Island? No, New Hampshire, honey. That's New Hampshire. Okay. <laughs> or um, maybe, no, excuse me. It's New England. 
It's, it's all, all of New, New England. England. <laughs> so we're both wrong. But I believe Stephanie did say she resides I, in Rhode you Island. You know what? You, I'm sure you're right. Which so. I believe is likely why she put all of New England. Because Rhode Island is like that big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I have a... I got this little guy. He's an 18-inch thread winder. I have the one from Thread the Needle Stitchery um stacy's husband that will give me 36 inch lengths of floss but when i'm using fancy floss or silk i prefer to stitch with 18 inch lengths and i didn't have that size mm -hmm. um and then something that um stephanie did for 324 is she do you want to show yours since yours is bigger no we can do this okay so this is the two rows and your symbols for the two rows. And then you just swap out your flosses as you're doing the chart. Do you want to show the size difference? Yeah, let's show the size. She actually only had one of these. <laughs> so here's the little guy. And it looks so lonely just laying there that I had to rescue it and bring it home with me. But she had, I think this was a test piece. But yeah, so and that's there's the big guy. And I got that today or Saturday. Oh, I got yeah, that on Saturday. You grab your phone stand. No, we're on the phone stand. Oh, <laughs> it's been a long few days. <laughs> so I can't show you the other item that I purchased on Friday from Stephanie because the phone is resting on it. But she had these phone stands and um, I've been having issues with my um, uh tripods at home and I, I've mentioned that in my last floss tube so we're now recording with the phone like this and as long as it comes out I'm okay with that okay um this was on Friday this was all of our purchases on Friday did you purchase these Friday or today this one I purchased Saturday. Friday oh yeah so we it's for the second uh retreat we're attending us and our roommate are all starting Mary Morgans. Morgans. And we're all stitching it with the Vicki Clayton silks. Uh -huh. So Mary Morgans is a big, big girl. <laughs> um, and so she requires a fat half. She's a big ass project. She <laughs> is a big ass project. <laughs> Carrie from uh, Tiger Lily says she's a big girl. And Carrie loves her big girls. And Carrie loves her big girls. So yeah. I got Pampas Grass. I was looking for Molly, but I didn't find it. <laughs> There's more to the story. There's more to the story that you will Stay learn. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, um, so that was everything that, that I got. On Friday. On Friday. So being that we're at a retreat, we get, everybody has gifts. Everybody has a gift for somebody. Um, may I borrow yours for a second? Yes. This one here? Absolutely. You can borrow any of them. Okay. So this is one of the more bougie um, floss blings that I created. Um, I'm going to take it apart here. Yeah, you can take it apart. And I'll grab my other one as well. Sure. Sure. So, so, so they can just get other ideas. Absolutely. I'm going to cover your face for a second. That is try to cover okay. mine. Um, so this is the, re this is the logo for the library stitchers retreat because it was a library stitchers. There was book themes. So I got a book charm and I also <laughs> oh, got, bless geez. you, Sorry. bless you. And then I also got a 2024 charm. That's not holding out right. There we are. Cover your face. <laughs> that's the book. And there's the 2024. And then, um, these are cabochons. I simply took the logo, reduced it down, printed it out, and then glued it to the back of a piece of glass. It's called a cabochon. And then mounted the whole thing in a metal tray with a super sticky dot. And then everyone also got a crystal bling. And then some of the more bougie ones got these big, um, huge beads hanging off of the bottom. And then mine is similar to, for each one of the library stitchers, Jackie went a little bit oh, um, further further, and did personalized um, 
floss blinks, and since we are roommates and best friends, mm -hmm. she knows my favorite colors. She even included my favorite bead, which is a whole <laughs> other story. So mine still has the 2024, um, but my cabochon is a little bit different, and mm -hmm. then mine has my name. Mm-hmm. So that was my gift to everybody at the retreat. I went around the room and on there I have my business card with my socials, my contact phone number, my email. And then I also had a care and instructions and feeding of your floss bling, especially um, one lady found out um, I was handing her her floss bling. It fell to the table. It banged real hard and the cabochon actually popped off of the metal tray. So I had her just press down really hard and press it back into the tray and all was well. But that was the care and feeding instructions for your floss blade. All right. Um, okay, other gifts we got? Um, so Jackie, something you need to understand about Jackie, I love this about her, absolutely love this about her. Something you need to know about me is I don't like surprises. You have to know me really well for me to get excited about surprises. She hit the ball out of the park with this one. So I haven't even um, completely yeah. opened this up. Sorry, crinkles. Crinkling. But last weekend I was at Stitch West, as you probably know, and Primrose Cottage Stitches were the designers for Stitch West. My my buddy here is a huge Primrose fan. I was really sad that I wasn't able to attend Stitch West. But uh, she knows that I'm a Primrose fan and got me a shirt. It says, beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. And that's uh, something that Primrose has on a lot of their things. I also, while I was there, was able to get her, um, they had available for us three exclusive charts. One of the charts, they gifted us with all the floss and all the fabric and the actual Lugana to stitch the piece on. That was our gift. They also gave, a, they gave us the chance to purchase in advance two other exclusive charts that coordinate with the first chart and a finishing kit for one of those two charts. And they had one for every person that was attending the event. The charts will be released in June. If you wanna see what they are, go back and take a look at my last floss tube. I did share them there. Um, my friend, Sher um, Sherry, did not want to purchase the exclusive charts the extra exclusive charts. So I purchased Sherry's and I gifted them to my bestie. Yes, because something you also need to understand, I love the yellow that is in all of Primrose Cottage <laughs> uh, bee patterns, so much so that I have like five yards of yellow fabric sitting in my closet waiting for me to do something with it. Mm -hmm. um, so she knows that Sooner than later, we're going to be finishing all the bee things. All the bee things. So the bee. Hashtag so the bees. So what else did we get in gifts? Oh, my goodness. So Stephanie, um, the New England stitcher in her last floss tube, set, showed a whip that she was actually going to restart because she was not happy with the floss that she was using. But she kindly said... If anybody's attending the library stitchers retreat and would like this floss, please contact me. So I reached out to her and said, hey, if nobody's claimed that, I would gladly take it off your hands. So this is Cottage Garden Threads Petunia. And it's also my first Cottage Garden Threads. So I'm super <laughs> excited um, to work with that. Okay. That is so pretty. Oh okay. my goodness, it's so pretty. All right, that's one of your gifts. So that was one. Um, these are really fun. Um, somebody came around. These are some floss drops. From Tammy Totten. Tammy Totten. And if you look at this picture and look at me when I was that age and my son at that age, mm -hmm. we all look alike. Yep. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, we're not sure who passed these around because 
Yeah, we would love to know who, who created these. These are crocheted hearts. I can't crochet to save my life. <laughs> Tried many, many times. My mom can crochet a blanket in really, mm -hmm. really fast amount of time. That was that was Taylor's. Okay. Um, again, I don't know who gave this one. Looks like it's a cat button. Oh, that was with... That was with, um, that's a needle minder, right? Yeah. Okay. It's a needle minder made out of this a is, wooden cat button. It came from this. Oh, it came from the... Because mine's a bird. Yours is a bird. Mine's a wooden bird button. So this came from, um... I think she's Missy's friend from what I could gather. Yes, yes. Tina Pendleton from Islesboro, Maine. And she included these awesome project cards. So on the front is the name of the project, the fabric, yada, 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 start date. On the back is all the threads and the colors. I love these different colors. They're all on cardstock. So so I'm, I'm going to try and reach out to her and see if she will either share the file with me or tell me how she created it so that I don't have to... Like, reinvent the wheel reinvent the wheel um another gift one of our table mates mm -hmm. sue gifted mm -hmm. us my favorite scissors there uh if you follow jean farish jean farish pretty much exclusively travels with these um yeah you can pull that when i moved to seattle uh, we lived in a hotel for a couple weeks and these were the only stitching scissors i brought with me TSA approved. Very TSA approved. <laughs> Can confirm. Can well, confirm. Going with those multiple times. <laughs> um, this was from, oh gosh, was this yeah, from I don't remember. Jenny and... I don't, no, I don't, I don't remember if that was from Jenny and Nancy. Bougie stitchers were there. Yeah. Um, but this is the one I got. They were all different. Yeah. Mine was... In your favorite retro 60 colors, like the orange or the gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mine still has those. Mine is brown and yellows. Well, Foo Bird, mine's here somewhere. It's here somewhere. I'm sure we'll find it. Oh, yeah, we'll find it. Oh, wait a minute. I was looking at the back of it. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Okay. What else? Um, let's see. We got a stitchy notebook. This is really cool. Um, uh, from you know, paper, my paper crafting days. I haven't even opened mine. You haven't opened yours yet? Is yours open? I opened mine. Okay. So it has the little belly band on oh it. Oh my goodness, and yours is bees, and mine is pink, and I love pink. So. And I love bees. So it's, so it's a little belly band. And Grand Finale Studio. Oh, that's on the back. Well, I'll be darned. Grand Finale Studio. Oh, I didn't know that our belly bands were different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine's pink and and then pink. and then you just open this up, and they took the time and covered the top of the little notepad with the same paper. Fold it up. Belly band that on. That would be really good uh, for. Um, like if you're going to like mm -hmm. the craft store and you need to yeah. pick up threads or yeah. for us, our L and S, yeah. uh, going to see Denise or placing a pickup or like mm -hmm. a pickup order or something with Denise. That was awesome. You can um, write the threads you need. Mm -hmm. um, That's your, yeah. I'll, your I'll leave those for yeah. last. Um, do you want to show yours so I don't have to sure. get mine out of the baggie? You can say who it's from while I get it out. This is from Ann Pitt and... Jen, Jen Dashno mm -hmm. from Swan, Swanton, Swanton, Vermont. Swanton, Vermont. Keychain with a little. Ah, come on. Seriously? There we are. A little heart. And a cut out of Vermont. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, and then we got. Some counting pens. Mm -hmm. I put all of mine together. <laughs> um, I'm a counting pen fiend. I, I use counting pens all the time. 
And I just love them because they're pretty. Those are the ones I got, and these are the ones you. Oh, and Jackie you has got. one of mine in her. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, here in me, her or jar. Before we forget, you can put that with that. Yeah, there's that one, and then Jackie um, chose a different one. Mm-hmm. And I can't remember who gave what. With these yeah, we get to the point. A lot of these did not have a name attached, and. So if you're watching this video and you see that we were showed your gift that you gave, please, please, please say something in the comments, please. Because we would love to properly thank you. Okay. So those are mine. Um, do you want to grab the... Oh, these, yeah. These? Yeah. Because I think they're a little different. Okay. This is from the Northwoods Stitcher. And oh, they're um, they're little yeah bags of like beads and charms and twenty twenty four charms and bulb and, pins and yeah light bulb pins or or gourd pins. Um, okay, so I have snowflakes. I have a snowflake as well. I have a couple of twenty twenty fours. Okay, and I have a heart and a Christmas tree. I don't have a Christmas tree. I have a button. Oh, and a red bell. Oh, you got a red bell. I have a little flower. I know what I'm going to do with uh, some of these, and you can probably uh -huh. figure out what I'm going to do with them. I can pretty much guess. So, that um, that one. And what else did we get? Um, we all got Carol. I love Carol. Um, she, my, my magnets, unfortunately, fell off of mine, but that's an easy fix. It's an easy fix, yeah. Um, I didn't bring my super glue. I should have. <laughs> Here. Let me... There we are. Do you want me to pull yours out of the bag? Sure. Well, you... Okay. This is so unique. Talk about upcycling. These are plastic bottle caps. Like from your bottles of water and soda. And she takes the caps. And she puts little stuffing in them. And makes them tiny little pin pillows. And it's a needle minder. And it's also. a needle minder. So if you yeah, look me... on the bottom, yeah, there's magnets. There's the magnets. The pins. We got our choices of fabrics and stuff. And I, of course, grabbed the. I grabbed red, then realized after I grabbed red, it's footprints. It's little paw prints. Which is perfect. Mm hmm Okay. And here's then, your, here's oh, your here's baggie. mine. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, okay, what else did we, oh, the ducks. The ducks. The ducks. We're not really sure what we are supposed to do with the ducks, but I know what I'm going to do with the ducks. <laughs> uh, I, my kiddo loves animals and anything animal related, so I'm probably going to put little tiny magnets on them and make them either like uh, fridge magnets that you can play with or um, needle minders. Yeah. I haven't decided. Yeah. I mean, a fridge magnet can be a needle minder. My fridge mm -hmm. is covered in needle minders. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. You should have gotten one of these. It was from one of the library stitchers. I didn't. So I reach out. Yeah. Well, I'll reach I'll, out and see yeah. if I didn't. So it's, you can do count. You do cat across stitch on this. It's a wooden uh, house. Yeah. And then do you have. This one? I have my little notebook, but my mm -hmm. pencil is in my orange bag. Yeah. So I actually took the stickers that we had received from other people and placed them on my little notebook. So the notebook and this sticker, Welcome to Maine, along with a little pencil that like a says... a little golf pencil. That says, Happy Stitching. It literally is a little golf pencil. Um, and the, so they, these were all from one person. And then Justine and Shelly, Whips and Sips, Ufta is a common if phrase in Minnesota. If you're from Minnesota, you know. Specifically Minnesota, but I've heard it in Illinois as well, so. Yeah, but it's I hear it a lot up in, up oh, in Minnesota. Oh, a lot in Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, also from Justine, do you have your green giant or did you, are my you green, using him? My green giant is on, I can grab him. Okay, I've got mine here. Okay, if you've got yours. They also gave us a little Jolly Green Giant because where they are from is Blue Earth, Minnesota. And they have a giant statue of the Jolly Green Giant there. Um, I told Justine and Shelly I've been watching their floss tubes for a very long time. 
when I first started watching them, they kept saying Blurf, Minnesota. We're in Blurf, Minnesota. I'm like, where the hell is Blurf, Minnesota? I, I know of Bemidji. <laughs> I spent the summer there one, one summer. I know of St. Paul and Minneapolis, of course, because I love Prince. Where the hell's Blurf? And so I realized after a while that they were saying Blue Earth. Yeah. So I'm telling Justine and Shelly this when I found when we saw them Thursday night. <laughs> and I'm night. laughing because I know where this story's going. And I'm and I'm fangirling all over the place. Oh my God, it's Justine and Shelly. Anyway, I wasn't. Well, it was that bad. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, she, so the, she warned, Shelley, you warned me though mm -hmm. that you were going to be that way. You're right. So it was okay. Um. So anyway, um. Justine starts laughing and she's laughing even harder. And she says, I got to tell you this. She says, you're not the only one. Kathy Haberman, hands-on design, also thought that it was the Blurf, Minnesota. Which, I mean, Minnesota accents when they get to talking? Blurf. Blurf. <laughs> Blurf. Then this was from um, Brandy and Emma, B&E Stitchery. They are also two of the nine library stitchers. Oh, sorry. You're okay. Shift the table. Less squirreling, more stitching. B&E Stitchery. And it, too, is a needle minder. And I saw it, and I was like, Emma, this is, like, my whole vibe. It is perfect. Um, did, you don't have, did, did you have the other, oh, did, you didn't get this. I, I got this. I okay, got though. this as I was passing out blinks to people. Um, this is from a lady who lives in Alabama. And her name is Beth, Beth Kreps, I think it is. Anyway, um, I'm not, I'll, I'll play. It's from Alabama. She was there attending. And there was some blueberry, it was a blueberry sticker. Because Maine blueberries. Maine blueberries. And a cream saver. Which I forgot were still made. Uh -huh. And they were my favorite candy as a kid. That's why Jackie's like. Handing it off to her. Uh, cinnamon roll um, uh, tea. And a book ring with a dangle. And a threader. I like that idea for a threader. I really like that idea. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. Okay. Um, stash that away. In, in yeah, the we're gonna we're gonna stash that away for a retreat handout. A further idea. Idea. Okay. Do we want to do our Saturday acquisitions? Did you hang tight? We're okay. I think we're almost done with the gifts. Yeah. I think we're almost oh, done with the gifts. Yeah. It's okay. Because I didn't grab all of mine. So. Somebody gave us a tube full of beads and a beading needle and some buttons. And this is from Boss Stitchers. Boss Stitchers. Um, Leslie, Nottingham, Leslie from Nottingham, Maryland gave us a floss bling with a little girl on it. Stitching. Um, two crossed stitchers, Mary Lou and Amy, they're on YouTube. Two crossed stitchers. It's magic. It I'm is there, magic. And then I'm gone. And then you're gone. I know, right? And it's focused and then it's not. Um, uh, that was squirreling. That was our little jolly green giant. Okay. You got this one? Yeah, I got this one. Okay. So... On the library stitchers page, I posted, hey, if you have anything medical happen or catastrophic with your clothes and you spill something on you, come find me because I travel with what I affectionately call my oh shit. Shit. Oh shit badge. My oh shit kit. Bag. Yeah. And it's it's bright pink. It's like the size of my hand and it's full of all sorts of stuff. Glasses wipes, deodorant wipes hand sanitizer wipes, glasses wipes, anything that comes in a wipe, I had. She has um, this bag. Yeah. And then I had like Pepto-Bismol, Tylenol, Aleve. I even had aspirin in case somebody She was had... a walking pharmacy. I was a walking OTC pharmacy, yep. <laughs> and then I had my own pharmacy of my own with my own meds. Um, but somebody came by and said, I have something you're gonna like. 
and inside this little um, pouch are glasses cleaning wipes. Glasses wipes. Which we were listing off all the things you can use these for. Uh -huh. Glasses, cell uh -huh. phones, uh -huh. um, tablet screens. Magnification. Magnets. Cheaters. Or magnification. Cheaters. Cheaters. There's so many uses for glasses wipes. Stainless steel even sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. There might be there even might be a time. I have baby wipes in my bag, and there might be a time when I don't have a baby wipe, so I grab one of those just to get ugh. the yuck off. The yuck off. I uh, think that was all of the little gifts we got. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So today, Saturday, our purchases. Well, yesterday now officially purchases. Oh no, we do have one more gift. Oh we another do. table mate. Kelly, I love Kelly. Kelly gave us Main. Here, do you want me to look that one? Oh, sure. And a bottle of real maple syrup. Wait. And there's a maple syrup candy. There's a maple candy in our goodie bag. I think I already ate mine. There was uh, this thing about maple trees up here. It's syrup and sap. And... Anyway. Well, the same is true in Washington. <laughs> I I, I've seen Washington I know. harvested maple it's, syrup. It's, the sap is running, so it's huge right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Saturday, we made purchases. Do you want to go, go first? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So, I went back over to Stephanie, the New England stitcher. I'm sorry. I have to be really specific about this because there's a New England stitcher and a New Hampshire stitcher. Yep. I, they're not the same person. Nope. Okay. Um, Y'all know me. I love snark. I love sass. So, um, she had out all of her needle minders. So I got more needle minders because I can't have enough needle minders. I, I love the needle minders. Feeling salty. It's a salt box. Mm -hmm. Feeling salty. You know, I love Grogu. May oh the gosh. floss be with you. That one is so cute. <laughs> I know, right? I almost picked up the uh, cuckoo for cross stitch with the cocoa Oh, puffs I didn't see bird. that one. The toucan? The toucan no, Sam? it's not the toucan. He's the chicken one uh -huh. with he's the brown one well that's the toucan sam is cuckoo for cocoa puffs no, toucan sam is uh fruit loops oh you're right you're right you're toucan right sam is fruit you're loops. right yep you're right uh, and then there's the cuckoo for cocoa cuckoo puffs for, okay bird okay team froggit but you're not team froggit no some of the time i am more of a team fudget A day without cross stitch probably wouldn't kill me, but why risk it? I think it should say a day without cross stitch probably wouldn't kill you, but why risk it? <laughs> and then if you are a fan of the Floss Boston Cousins, you will know about the fly flap story. <laughs> and what the hell is a fly flap? Uh, apparently a fly flap is a, an Alabama term for a fly swatter. Shut your fly flap, I'm counting. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Mm -hmm. Come on, focus. Do you need that? Paper? No, I think it's well. It's so it's so light. Yeah, that's part of the reason it's having trouble. And then so, we had we also had a friend who uh, graciously is going to be sending us some items, and in exchange, not out of obligation, mind you, huh. I I sneakily found out that they were Team Froggit. Yes. So I ran over, and yes. when I purchased my Moose Crossing needle minder, I purchased them one as well. So they now have a Team Froggit pendant mm -hmm. needle minder. Um, so also from Stephanie, New England Stitcher, I got my own Lipa Keepa. That'll be really good for uh, like yeah. Stitchy Thursdays. I know, I know. Or when yeah. you come to my house and we might have some downtime. Yeah. When Nugget doesn't want snuggles. Yeah. So, uh, my own Lipa Keepa. I think that's a Teresa Kogut. Is it? Hmm. Fabric. Ooh, okay. It definitely gives me Teresa Kogut vibes. It does me too. 
And then I went back over to Reese because I realized and discovered that she had added to the amount of fabric that she had available for sale. And I did it too. I uh -huh. did it too. Um, so, um, we, I got myself, and these are all fat halves, or one, one of them is a yard, a full yard. Ooh. Fiber on a whim, cream and sugar. That's a fat half. 18 count. Atomic Ranch Lavender Fat Fat Half 8 of 14. I might, might, might put eggs all around on this but from with, Glendon Place. But with the beads. It, it's a 14 count. That, oh. Yeah. So that's it doesn't why this matter. Is, yeah, that's it's, why it's sizing down that matters. Uh-huh. Yeah. If you go if you go to an 18, it's gonna matter. Okay, I don't know yet for sure. I may wind up getting a uh, lilac mist from Atomic Ranch. That's a really pretty one. I've seen that really one as pretty, well. really pale one. This is a full yard of antique white from Zweigart, which is just a great all around all around. Now, remember earlier when we were talking about Molly, and somebody loves Molly, and somebody loves to stitch on Molly. This was laying in the pile. I had looked through that pile so many times. She had. <laughs> to find. So Molly. there is a fat half here of Molly, and we are going to split it. Yeah, I was like, can we split that? Yes. And she's like, that was my plan. That was my plan. So. Because when I get home, when I got home, if I didn't find Molly somehow at the retreat, I was gonna tell husband I couldn't find my the one fabric that I really really wanted and I wanted a yard cut of it so now I'm gonna buy a whole yard. No, I don't have to because I'm I'm out. I'm out because the uh, the small that I'm stitching for the smalls exchange for the retreat in September I think is on the is that last the chunk last of, little tiny bit of Molly you have. Oh my that's god! That's not that's not uh, earmarked for other projects. Okay, purchases for today. Purchases for today. So. I or Saturday, rather. Saturday. So I purchased some floss drops from Reese, and they were gnomes with uh, blueberries. Mm -hmm. um, and then she had those sitting on the table. Yep. Again, you see the same colors. And those is are this from this is from Dinky Dice. Those are Dinky Dice scissors. Oh my God! Retro flowers, it says. Yep, and they're the that '70s shows colors that I love so yep. much. Okay, and from Dinky Dice. And then Boomerang Stitches, who is one half Amity, who is one half of Hathaway Stitchers. Hathaway Stitchers. Has a Etsy shop, and she has a couple patterns. And one of them is, get this one. is White Christmas. I'm dreaming of a great white Christmas, and it's Jaws. And it's Jaws. Jaws. So this is a fat half of... Lestrange. Atomic Ranch Lestrange. And I'm going to It'll cut... It'll be like this. Yeah. I mean, like it barely, um, so it would almost fit on a fat eighth of 16. That's a half, a fat half of 18 count. It'll fit. So I am will be stitching, um, it'll fit the white Christmas pattern, um, on a chunk of it, um, with, uh, what did I say? Color and cotton Dracula, which is a bunch of reds. Ooh. So that'll be fun. So, so that'll be really fun. Um, so now what else? So I had my first retreat finish ever. Um, this is called Heads or Tails. I can't remember the designer, but we'll uh, put it in the draw box below. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the choice is yours. And it's a chocolate bunny surrounded by um, eggs. If you want the colors that I used, let me know because those are not the called for colors. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think the call I used the called for colors on the border. I know the color of the bunny is the called for color. Um, Do you remember what the fabric is? Oh, Lovely by Mystic. Uh -huh. And that's a 16 count. Aha. Uh -huh. Good job. I was like, what are you? Excellent job. And if I didn't know, I can. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then there was the raffle. There was the raffle. We raised money for a literacy project here in Augusta um, that teams up adult learners 
um, and these are adults, not children, um, who do not know how to read or write. And between the trunk shows, um, the profits from the trunk shows, and the raffle, we raised almost ten thousand dollars. Yeah, it was freaking awesome. Between, I think, yeah, it was um, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. Um, so it, it's it's adults that English is their primary language, and then also. They're doing English language learners as well. Exactly. So e ESL and English primary. Mm -hmm. And English is their primary language. So somebody here. Hold on. We have to back up. Oh. Stitchers are very generous. Mm -hmm. And someone. So we also had door prizes that were related to our name tags. They had numbers on them. Mm -hmm. So they would uh, randomly throughout the day. There were a couple different times they did this. Mm -hmm. They would draw numbers. Mm hmm and you would get a door prize. Well, someone won this prize. I can't remember who. No. Um, but she was looking for a new home for it because she, was she, she wasn't going to stitch it. She said, I'm not going to stitch it. So, and I like, mono I like to have two monochromes going at once. A small and a big piece because my other pieces, I like to have palette cleansers. Mm -hmm. So this is Zeresh Andrus. Uh, 1789. This By is from Annie, Annie, the proper stitcher. It's a reproduction. And yeah, I love, I, lo I love the, the, um, fonts. And, I love them. Mm hmm So my friend here is tackling, uh, Liz Matthews, um, print. No, Liz Matthews. Um, hold on. Mm -hmm. So you guys can see me because mm -hmm. I'm speaking and mm -hmm. looking at people kind of helps <laughs> when you're trying to understand what they're saying. Um, I am tackling, so I went to StitchCon last year and I got a Susan Surprise Me box. And the one thing I told her was literary letters and typography. Mm -hmm. What she cut it up for me was, a, I'm pretty sure it was a yard, close to mm -hmm. it, of... Um, Tombstone, and I think it's an Atomic Ranch. Uh -huh. Atomic Ranch Tombstone, 18 count, with um, Rocky Mountain by Threadworks. And I'm stitching Engraver's chart, which is the really big chart from, um, Hello, from, from Hello from Liz Matthews. Uh -huh. um, so I'm going to eventually finish it exactly how Liz did um, uh -huh. and hang it in my house uh -huh. somewhere. Probably in my reading corner whenever yeah. I get that done. Yeah. Um, and let me see here. That is a reproduction center by Annie Turner of the Proper Stitcher. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if she has any history in here of the little girl who did this. Sometimes she does, though. Yeah, exactly. We never really got a chance to open it up. In no, the I haven't opened it at all. But now, so back to the raffle. And somebody in this room actually won something, and it wasn't me. And I don't usually win things. <laughs> so, um, so I, so what I did was I put tickets in each one of the things, mm -hmm. and then there was a couple that I wanted more than others. All of the raffles were incredible. Yeah. They gave away a pair of Kohana scissors that were donated by Christy of the Floss Boss and Cousins. Um, they gave away a couple of the different ladies. Huge made. baskets. The Crafty Gear Milken basket was massive. Wow. Yeah. Um, Stitch New England had put together a basket mm -hmm. to be raffled off. Um, Some of the ladies that were there donated... Uh, project bags that they had made that um, they made Teresa um, Kogut had donated five books and they five were all bundled books up and they were all bundled up there were proper student charts there were hands-on design charts mm -hmm. there were kits there mm -hmm. were a couple kits that were raffled mm -hmm. off so to make a long story longer <laughs> uh, I won hands-on design I'll let um, I almost called you Kathy. That's okay. You are not Kathy. That's okay. Um, the uh, chart. So in this chart, it says, what I make with my hands, I give with my heart. And down here at the bottom. Yep. 
Oh, is that where you can stitch it as well? I don't mm -hmm. know. Anyway. Yeah. That's oh, okay, the option cool. to stitch it oh, cool. instead of do the applique. Oh, way cool. So down here at the bottom, these are all appliques. So here is all of the felt and the buttons that she needs to make the applique hearts, a, an ink and, pin. And I guess I'm also not only going to learn how to applique, this will also be my introduction into Sulky Threads. And I've been interested in trying Sulky because my sweet spot is 18 count or 20 count or 25 count or 28 count, one over one full cross. I don't really like stitching with two threads. Sulky is one thread. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try those. And I'm very happy for her that she won a, she won a raffle prize. And it's so and it's stuff I've never done before. That'll be Absolutely. my first hands on design. Isn't that the fun my part? first uh applique and my first uh foray into sulkies. Yeah. And it'll be another What are those charts laying over behind my water or my, my crystal light? Those were the those are the freebies. Those were the freebies. Oh, okay. Sorry. I think those those were my freebies. Yes they are. The other ones were the ones yeah. that you'd gotten for me. Yeah so wow that's pretty much it um final thoughts on the retreat Holy day one day cow. one we both said we'll be back yeah so we have already told uh several of the library stitchers especially missy and kathy you do this next year we will be back um in a heartbeat because it was perfect mm -hmm. i mean the venue was perfect Mm -hmm. The amount of people was perfect. Mm -hmm. The amount of trunk shows mm -hmm. was, I would say, more than adequate. Way more than adequate. Um, we have both attended StitchCon. And StitchCon is 300 people crammed into a room. It is absolute chaos. It is absolute um, overwhelm. That was the big thing for me, was it was constantly loud. I couldn't think very very distracting especially for the two of us with our ADD and our you know our brains are squirreling all the time and we just you know you think about the value that you pay we paid airfare motel car rental um we paid the entry into the retreat um the raffle uh, all the, the value of what we got in return this was phenomenal. Just far, yeah. far, far, was, far outweighed. Was, and food. Oh, oh the Can we food. talk about the fact that we both Please. cried in our plates for a second? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> where we are from, we're both from the Midwest, about six hours from each other. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and get through this with, without, without crying. crying. So her mom, or was it your... Oh, no, it was my mom. Your mom, my grandmother, would make ham salad. And we made it with bologna because we were poor. And you made, we both make it identical. We use the chunk bologna that you buy from the meat case. You don't have them slice it. It's a giant chunk. You run it through the food grinder. It's a hand crank food grinder. I actually have a food grinder attachment for my KitchenAid stand mixer. And you put in hard boiled eggs and you put in pickles. Actually, we put the sweet pickles through the grinder. That's a really good idea. Yeah. And then I, I always did a slice of bread afterward to get everything out of the grinder. That's smart. And mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. And that was it. And it was ham salad. And oh my God, we lived on that stuff. Mm -hmm. And we today, or Saturday, I'm so sorry. Saturday, both lunches were sandwiches. So Friday sandwiches were lunch meats. We had beef, uh, beef pork, pork or, yeah, beef, ham, and, chick and turkey. And so we built our sandwiches and we had uh, pasta salad, potato salad, coleslaw. And um, then today or Saturday was little buns that they had split open and put in egg salad, chicken salad, and ham salad. And Jackie and I both looked at each other. We go, is that this ham, ham salad? salad? And we both looked at each other like, and we had tears in our eyes. We're like... Somebody oh. that understands. <laughs> and everybody's like, what is it with you two? We're like, like, we grew up on this stuff. And this was real ham. It wasn't bologna. It was real ham. And it was so good. It scratched that itch. And then we're both like, okay, we're going home. 
When I get back and you can't make yeah. ham salad without me. I won't. I promise. We're going to make ham salad. Um, the, um, the meal. Yeah. So the lunches were sandwiches and simple stuff. The dinners, um, Friday night was Alfredo and no Friday night was mac and cheese. Oh yeah, that's right. Mac baked, and cheese with the penny pasta, baked beans, baked beans, chicken, chicken, and uh, stuffed pork, stuffed. Just, uh, that was, was it pork or turkey? I don't know. It was meat with stuffing in it. And it was good. good. <laughs> and, you know, tossed salad and, and again, potato salad, coleslaw, mac. Anyway, um, and then um, Saturday and night, we had lasagna, Alfredo with roasted veggies. Which was so good. Oh, my God. And chicken marsala. Chicken marsala. And steamed broccoli. Rolls. Rolls. And again, coleslaw uh, potato salad, <laughs> macaroni salad. But Which, that pasta salad. That pasta salad was good. I could, was I could eat that so good. three times a day. I could eat it from a massive bowl in mm -hmm. front of my TV watching floss tubes. Mm -hmm. And my husband would have to take it. From yeah. Exactly. So that, um, honestly, we, this mor I think Saturday morning, we were looking at each other going, we come back. Have it yeah, again. we both looked at each other. She was like, be honest with me. Yeah. Would you come back? I'm like, yep. She's like, are you ready to go to the retreat in September? Because we're going on another trip together. I said, I think we can live with each other for a couple days. <laughs> So, yes, our next big thing is in September, we are doing a, pretty much a repeat of this weekend. We are doing an overnight uh, flight from uh, Seattle, Seattle to Atlanta. Um, it is far, I think in the end, the cost all washed out. But for us, rather than sitting in an airport for hours on end, and wait on a puddle jumper to get from Atlanta to Montgomery, Alabama. The other thing logistically you have to understand about being a wheelchair user. Mm -hmm. Legally, I don't have to get off that aircraft until my chair is at the door. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah. So that takes 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. we then, are some of the first, we're some of the last off the plane. And that's also intentional because we have bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I often have equipment, things mm -hmm. that I have to offload as well. Mm -hmm. um, and the pilot actually put my chair together for me. which And I was, wheeled you up the jet plane this wheeled morning, me up, wheeled Thursday me up morning when we got bridge, to Boston. And I was so incredibly thankful. Mm -hmm. um, and so anyway, we've decided that it's far easier with uh, with Taylor's limitations and... Just um, the logistics of The logistics it of it all. Yeah, actually, forgive me for saying that. That was crude. I knew um, you meant. I knew you meant logistics. I was. I did not take offense to it at all. Um, I knew the intent behind what you were saying. Thank you. So anyway, with the with the logistics and it just is. And besides which, we have a rental car. If we want to take off and go explore, we can. So yes, while we are in Montgomery, Alabama, this fall attending the um, Stitching in the Wild retreat. We are going to go by Gary and Ronnie's new LNS, Garon Stitcheries LNS, that will be opening this coming Saturday, April the 27th. And we are actually going to see the store. I want a selfie with the sign. And I want a selfie with the floss wall. Mm -hmm. And Ronnie and Gary, I'm sorry. I, I might end up petting your floss so much <laughs> that I like get into a trance and don't want to leave. <laughs> So you'll have to watch me. I think we're going to have a new title, Serial Petters. <laughs> oh, no. No. That would be bad. No. That's very bad. Okay. Yeah, it's time to go to bed. Um, yeah. So, and yeah. We still have to pack. We still have to pack. So, yeah. It's, we've been at this now about an hour and 40 minutes. So, anyway. Um, Taylor is going to be starting her own floss tubes uh, here soon. Um, so, I, I said, join me. Get your toes wet. See how you like it. Um, and look for her, and I will keep you all posted when she and starts to post. When Jackie and I are together, we will we'll probably shoot some more, some more floss tubes together. Or not necessarily floss tubes, but maybe like little, hey, this is what we're working on, or this is the chaos that we're causing. This is the chaos that we're causing at the moment. 
Um, so yes, that is on our horizon is our next big project, um, is, is the, uh, retreat in September in Montgomery, Alabama. And she twisted my arm and told me to start a floss tube. So yeah, that's coming. Um, as for stitching that I did, I continue working on my triple, super triple secret Great spy project. project. Um, and I did do, um, a day's worth of, uh, the lunar temperature chart. No, and you, you've yeah, caught up. I did catch up, but I now have to catch up on Saturday. So, um, and then there's flying on Sunday. So Monday I'll probably catch up. Um, anyway, we fly back to SeaTac, uh, tonight at some, we're, our flight leaves at eight o'clock from Boston and we arrive at 1115 local time in Seattle. Um, so, um, yeah. And my husband will be picking us up because he works second shift and my child is with my parents. Exactly. So, so that my husband could have a weekend. To himself. Yeah. Or he wasn't sure when we had logistically planned all of this out, whether or not he was going to work the weekend since I wasn't home. Exactly. So th those are our next big plans. Um, we thank you so much for watching us and uh, putting up with our shenanigans. And well, we have stitchy shenanigans anyway. Um, and yeah, so if you like what you see, please, please hit that subscribe button. Mm -hmm. Ding that notification bell next door so that you'll be notified when I put out a when I put out a floss tube and I can notify you when Taylor starts doing her own floss tubes. And because my schedule is so very random, I just never know when I'm going to be doing a video. So yes, please get, uh, you know, hit that notification bell. Please feel free to leave a comment, kind or constructive. Um, please, folks. Be kind. This is, a lot of us are out here putting our hearts out and our hearts on our sleeves. And there's been a lot of nastiness here lately with some floss tubers being kind of attacked, feeling that they're, 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 they're being attacked. Um, so, um, yes, please. Please be kind. <laughs> Just be kind. So, in the meantime, uh, keep curating those crafting supplies and keep creating with those crafting supplies. And keep inspiring. And again, be kind. This and is. And remember, it's all stash when you add it to your cart. When you add it to your cart, it's all stash. So uh, again, I'm Jackie from Jack's Creative Inspirations. This is Taylor from Yet to Be Named Fall <laughs> I'm throwing around a couple ideas, but nothing's like stuck. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you all have a great week, a phenomenal week, a stitchy, crafty, inspiring week. We love you to pieces, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.